back baby with a new unboxing it's new to the channel we have the chic beauty box now this one took a little time to get here and I really only got it because of um, of course Miss Ann I watch her all the time and she really likes this one um, <clears throat> but what was in it I like um, What's the HB Tay palette that I really, really wanted? So I'm hoping that that's what I got. I don't know what else is in here, but, and I don't remember any of the other unboxings I've seen. So we just gonna have to get into it. But let's get into the specs, honey. Go Z, little. <laughs> I think these are so cute. And on the side, they're purple. And purple is my favorite color. And yes, I am blind. <laughs> so yeah, but let's get into this box. Zebu, you know, if you want to do something, call your girl. They are, that's where I also got my other pair of glasses in my last video. So let's see. So this is typically what the box looks like. She beauty box and it's adorable. It's simple, but it's cute and it's consistent. So I'm thinking that I'm assuming this is my palette, but we'll open that for last. It wouldn't fit in the box, so that's why they had to send this. So yeah, let's open it. Let's open it. Presentation is everything, people. Nice. So we got a little card. And so apparently you can get two variations of this particular box. And this is the March-April box. It is a bi-monthly subscription. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm... I guess we'll see. We'll determine which variation I got unless it's on here somewhere. It is not. But these are... The different variations of what you could have gotten in your box. So let's see which one I got. By the palette that I chose, I think I have variation one, but let's see. Okay. And they do high-end and drugstore type brands, which is cool because sometimes you don't want to spend $30 on a mascara when a $10 mascara is just as good, if not better. So I'm here for it. So first up, we have the Revlon Colorstay long wear lip liner and this is in ruby and it is a red which is cool because i actually need a red one let's let's watch it let's watch it. i actually need one because if you don't know my favorite lipstick like i feel like red is my signature lipstick color like i will throw on a red any given day of the week just because and it's typically a blue red but i love all the reds Okay, and I definitely know I got a red somewhere to match this. This is a little bit more orange to me, but it seems, it, well, maybe because it's just showing up that way, but it's more red, red in person. So yeah, super happy to get that. And it's creamy like a mug too. I like that. And that one is $10 or maybe not. See, if that one's not on here. I was supposed to get a color correcting pen, not a lip liner in variation one. But hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, up next we have the Estate Cosmetics Lip Thirst Buildable Lip Color. What color? It comes in Cosmo. And this goes for $12. Okay, so they're both the same? I don't know, girl. But we're going to see. Cause like both on um, both variations, I was supposed to get something from Estate Cosmetics, a lip thirst. So maybe it's the color that's different. I don't know. But here's the packaging. Real kind of simple. Kind of reminds me of like eyeliner glue pens, like the little brush ones. Ooh, but this is pretty. Oh no, it's smashed a little. Oh well. But here's the color, and it's a little bricky red. It's a little deep red. Oh, but it goes well with that lip liner. That's pretty. I like that. And it is buildable. Because, like, look, here's one swatch. Well, not much difference. Maybe because I'm a little heavy-handed. But there's one swatch. And if I keep going... Full color. Bam. I like that. That's cute. And this is a nice color. I like it. And it's creamy. Like, it's really soft. 
it don't feel like it's gonna stay like it'd be everywhere but it's still nice i like it all right up next what we have oh i'll close that later a brush a makeup brush from bella pierre and this one says it go and this is the powder brush going for 30 dollars this is nice oh it's really soft i would use this as like a duster brush to like dust away like the setting powder and stuff like that but this is nice for 30 dollars now here's my thing bella pierre is in a lot of these subscription boxes and that's great you know people seem to like their stuff but here's my problem the retail value and what i see at ross don't match don't match at all because i feel like if i'm gonna go like they'll have like a five pack of lip glosses in the subscription boxes and it is say at a retail for like 45 dollars but i always and i mean always see it at like tj maxx and ross and burlington for like seven eight dollars like the math ain't mathing it's not mathing so I don't really know if I could take that at $30. I mean, it it don't feel like that. Like, it feels like an elf brush. I mean, and elf brushes. Now, let me not say that, that, that they some cheap brushes because elf brushes be coming through. But this don't feel like, it don't feel like a $30 brush. There's like no real weight. There's no, there's nothing that says, yes, you need to go out and buy another one. No. There's no, it doesn't say that. So that's what, that's what the price say. We gonna go with. And the last inside of the box is from Give Them La La Beauty, and this is what a cream blush it's called. I'm the powerful one. Now, my skills have not advanced to cream blushes or opening this box, apparently. <laughs> but we gonna see. Now I did see, when I now that I remember, you know, this product in some of the boxes, it was a nice size. It's definitely nice size. Can't shade them on that. But I don't know how to use cream blushes. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. but she's pretty. Now she reminds me of, oh, my favorite MAC blush. And I can't I can't even remember what it's called. I think the replacement for I know they discontinued it. And the replacement for it or the closest one was like fever or buried or something like that. When I find it, I'll let y'all know. But it was so pretty and it was my favorite blush. Ooh. So just swirling around, there's the color. So that's not bad. So maybe I can try it and see like how cream blushes are supposed to work because that's terrifying. But that is a gorgeous color, a gorgeous color. And it wasn't too bad on the payoff, like just swirling lightly on my finger. So maybe this might be a good starter one because I've seen some cream blushes. I have some really pretty colors, but I have a ton of blush already and I kind of... I don't know. I just kind of like what I know. So, but maybe I'll grow up into some cream blushes. We'll see. All right. And so this one retails for $26. See, mine is all over the place. I don't know which variation I got. I think because I ordered so late that my variation is like variation number three because it's a mix of all of those things. Yeah. So, yeah. But last up, and I do remember choosing this one because I really like the eyeshadow palettes. This is the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen. Isn't that gorgeous? Like their packaging is always really, really, really nice. Like always really, really nice. And I've always heard wonderful things. And they're black owned, woman owned. Like get into it. Isn't that pretty? Like I have, the, I have the Oceanic palette, the blue green one, and it is so pretty. It's, I mean, the packaging alone is gorgeous. And the eyeshadows are so nice. They're soft. Yes, they're so nice. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. 
I won't blind you. Let me do it this way. That way you can see them. And they're named. Aren't they gorgeous? Like, that's so pretty to me. Like, I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. Uh, you know, I said that, I know. But this is so pretty. Like, so, so, so pretty. Let's see if I can swatch some of these. Like, Shadow. It's like a deep plum. Oh, look at that. It kind of looks black on camera, but it's definitely a dark, deep purple. And let's do Twilight. This is a shimmer. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. I think we're just going to stick with fingertip swatches because <laughs> that's the only way I'm good at them. And this Eve color is a purple. Oh, a dusty purple. Oh, my gosh. And they're so nicely pressed. Let's see. Let's try this Moon Glow one. It's this silvery color. Look at that. I'm a pinky. That is so pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? Yes. And the mirror is nice, too. But these are so pretty. And there is a black in here, too. Let's see what that swatch is like. Because you ever get a black in a palette and it's just like not black? But that's black, honey. Oh, so she black. I'm black. Okay, if you don't know what that's from, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this palette is gorgeous. I'm so happy I chose it and I really wanted it. Like, I can't remember how much this box was. I'll put it in the video. But like this palette alone is like 40 bucks. So for me to have gotten this, and I don't even think I spent 40 bucks. I think it's like 30, 30 dollars for the, the subscription box. And I didn't, this pays for it right there. You know, plus I got the, the blush, the lip liner, the brush, the lipstick. I don't think I lost with this one. So I'm, I'm really glad I signed up. And I, if I remember correctly, I got a six month subscription. So I'll get three boxes total. So my next box shouldn't come until the next box set will be May, June. So we'll see how that works. But so far, I'm really glad I got it. And we'll see what choice day is like. Because you do get to choose an item. And so I don't know what their choices are typically. But I'm excited about this box. So good job, Chic Beauty Box. I like this one. So um, let me know if you guys subscribe to this box. Let's talk about it in the comments. If we're box twins again. Or did you not like the box? Or are you thinking about it? So yeah, let's talk about Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe and tell your homegirls like, hey, my girl Carrie is on YouTube and you know, we just be shooting the breeze talking about makeup that she don't know how to use. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got to shave me like that, but you know, just put it out there. You know, let's, let's build some community, okay? Let's work through this together, okay? But until next time, peace.